Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, are you ready for a new video? <laughs> I know that I've been kind of on a little uploading spree, but it's just because I've kind of had a week where I haven't had anything to do except film videos, so I was just taking full advantage of it, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Reading your guys' tweets when I would upload videos is like the funniest things of life. Like, you guys send me like the best memes. Are they called memes or memes? Oh. Memes? Memes? memes, memes. <laughs> you guys send me the best ones and they just like make my whole life on Twitter. So I love you guys. You're the best. So today we're going to do our August favorites. I figured I would get a jump start on all the favorites videos. You know how I like to do. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in because I don't, I don't really have a lot. I feel like I always say the same thing. Okay guys, we're just going to jump in. I don't really have a lot to talk about. But then it's like a 20 minute video. So apparently I do have a lot to talk about. So I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet for this one and let's go. So the first thing I want to talk about are these products from um, soap and glory. I went to New York at the beginning of the month to do a little magazine shoot. Hey! Um, I took my mom with me because my mom's never been to like an event or me working or anything like that so I just wanted her to see what it is that I do when I go to these places. So on our one of our free days we went to Sephora and I actually picked these up for my mom. They're the Soap and Glory Heal Genius, the amazing foot cream, and then the hand food which is a non-greasy hand cream with shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallows. And hers just smelled so good. I was like, like, oh my god, I need these for me too. So obviously I went out and bought them for myself. The Heel Genius is amazing because one, I wear flip-flops almost all year round. Pretty much every Floridian does. It's just kind of like a thing. <laughs> like, you can be like in a full-on nice dress and then flip-flops. It's just out of control how in Florida you can seriously wear flip-flops anywhere and it's totally acceptable. But because of that, my feet are always out so they get dry a lot. And I don't want to go get a pedicure like every week. So this guy is great because it just makes your feet so, 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 so soft. What I like to do is pop this bad boy on my feet, put some socks on at night, and then go to sleep. It is kind of hard for me to sleep the whole night with socks on, but I try to leave it on for at least two to three hours so that the product really, really absorbs in here. And then for my hands, um, my hands are always dry, but I'm not somebody that really likes how lotion feels. I don't like that kind of greasy feeling. My hands are always dry because I'm always doing stuff with my hands, washing dishes, washing beauty blenders, washing mason brushes. So the thing that I like most about this one is it doesn't leave any kind of a greasy residue on your hands. It absorbs so quickly and the smell is so bomb.com. So the next thing I want to talk about is my Am Resi palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette, I think it came out last month. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I am absolutely obsessed with it. I'm so obsessed with pretty much every color, even though I haven't messed around with the two like colorful shades in the palette, which I need to. The color Morocco, like this is like the best color of life to me. So you go, girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> I absolutely love this guy. So my next favorite are these Salon Perfect Eye Makeup Corrector Sticks. I got this in a goodie bag when I was in LA for Generation Beauty and I love these things. I've tried looking for them at like Walgreens and CVS and Target and stuff but I can't find them anywhere so that kind of makes me sad. I haven't tried Walmart and for some reason I, I feel like Walmart would have these. Um, but they are just little sticks like this in a little tub and they have makeup remover on them. So I'm somebody that will get lash glue and like glue my eyes shut sometimes so I like these because it just pops like I pop it right in the corner and it just like eliminates that inner eye stickage <laughs> and if I get like mascara on my top lid these are just so convenient to have um, you could obviously make these yourself just get a little container that you're not using anymore just put a little bit of makeup remover on the bottom and then get you some q-tips and shove them all in there and then you'd have just ready to go makeup remover sticks but because I don't even know how much these are, but there are 50 little pre-moistened sticks in here. These are just really convenient. I always keep them on my vanity so that they're always near, and I love them. Next, I have a few lipsticks. I actually have a lot of lip products here because I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm sort of a lip junkie. I have way too many lipsticks, but they're like my favorite thing of life. I feel like I can never have enough lipsticks. They're just like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> first ones I want to mention are from Gerard Cosmetics. First, I love the packaging because it's just gold. Like, who doesn't like gold stuff? You know I do. And I have, I only have four of the colors. One of them is back here. This one is Tequila Sunrise. Um, I love that they're matte. Ah, I just gashed it. Whoa. The pigmentation is really beautiful on these. I love, love, love the nude one. I just want to do a little, a few little swatches on my hand. And then this one is all dolled up, which I mean... 
if that isn't a dupe for Candy Yum Yum, then like, I don't know what is. So, absolutely love these guys. And then because we're talking about Gerard Cosmetics, I guess I should just mention this lip gloss because I see him right here. But this is called Wild Orchid. And is that like not the most beautiful purple neon color you've ever seen? Um, look at this. Look at that. It's so gorgeous, right? So gorgeous. I like wearing this with like a super nude eye with just like a winged eyeliner. I wore this over the weekend and it was so gorgeous. So many people asked me what color was on my lips. I was like, wild orchid. Two lip liners that I've been loving this month. They're from Milani, so they're from the drugstore. Totally affordable. One of them is Spice and the other one is Nude. I have Spice on my lips right now. I love these. I'm super, super into lip liners lately. My lip liner collection is just like... Da -da 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 like growing so so much um and I just wanted to find some really good drugstore lip liners and I love these Milani ones I do have a bunch of them but these two I've been reaching for all month give you guys a little swatchage this one is nude and this one is spice and again spice is what is on my lip you can find Milani products I think everywhere now like pretty much any drugstore has Milani products and then a couple of lipsticks Ooh. These are new from Maybelline, and these are their soft matte lipsticks. I'm wearing them one right now, and this one is actually called A Touch of Spice. And they are so gorgeous. I think that there's eight all together. I have five of them. So they're matte lipsticks, but they are so soft and non-drying on your lips. I am obsessed with them. I'm not going to go through all of them. I just wanted to mention the lipstick because everybody is going to like a different color, but I feel like this is going to be a great color for fall. Most of the time, matte lipsticks can really dry out your lips and then like, I don't know, when I wear like a matte lipstick, I find myself always doing this. Trying to get like some kind of moisture or something back into my lips and then like two hours and I'm like take this lipstick off like I hate it so when I put these on when I like I like, get a little twist drops at the store don't worry I bought the lipstick I tested and I just felt how, like how soft it was I was like yes give me these my two favorites out of all of them are the touch of spice again which I have on my lips and then lust for blush uh, beautiful like it's so soft but matte feels so good on your lips it's like mm, I love it do I have more lip products to talk about yes I do <laughs> I have one last lip product to talk about no 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 I got another one but it's not a lip color so don't worry but anyways um, my last one mm, no not my last one one of the melted um, liquefied longwear lipsticks from Too Faced it did come out with the newer colors which I was like Bruh. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. And I was at Ulta a couple weeks ago and I saw this baby there and it just looks so, 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 so beautiful. So here is a swatch of her. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous in the fall and I wish fall would get here because oh girl is trying to start wearing cardigans and leggings and boots and hats and all that fun stuff. <sighs> but I live in Florida. <laughs> One last lip product is from Soft Lips, and he looks like this. And this is a little five-in-one care guy. I thought he just looked interesting when I saw him, and I was like, I'm a sucker for lip balms anyway. So he sits like, he sits like this. And I saw him, and I was like, what is that? And at first I thought it was like a pot, you know, that you put your finger in and like rub it on your lips, and I like those kind of things. Um, but this guy is not. He is just a little dome like this, kind of like a little rip -off. Of an EOS ball but I still like this whole concept and I actually like this a lot better and I like how the balm feels on my lips a lot better than the EOS ball it's so weird because I used to be like so obsessed with those EOS balls now like I can't I can't stand them I think they're like so like rough to put on your lip I don't know maybe that's just me he hydrates replenishes soothes protects and adds a little bit of shine um, there's two flavors I got pomegranate blueberry and I think there was like mint but I was like I don't know if I want that so I got pomegranate and blueberry. Next are these masks from Sephora. This is the pearl mask and it's a fiber, ma fiber mask. So it's just one of those masks that you lay over your face which kind of makes you look scary and creepy because you don't have like any eyebrows and you can't see anything but I really like it. <laughs> I like these to travel with a lot because I will put this on on an airplane with no shame in my game because oh girl is not trying to break out when I land in LA which most of the time happens. So I like to wear these on the plane because it's just convenient and everything that you need is right inside. It's just one mask that you just lay over your face. The flight attendants get a little scared, but they can live with it. I use the pearl mask and the rose mask. When your face is hydrated on a plane, it's going to help prevent breakouts, so that's always a plus, right? Then my next product is from LA Girl, and it is the Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. Now, I've had these for a hot minute, just hanging out in my makeup drawer, waiting to be used, and I finally used these, and 
I was like blown away. I was like, I'd have been using these way sooner had I known they were so good, which I should have known because I've seen people on Instagram talking about how great the consistency and the formula is, and they ain't lying about it. It's cool because it's um, like a little squeeze tube like this. So I've seen people like really get in because I have a dark one too that you could contour with, and I think it would be like perfect to like contour the nose with. I just like how the whole dispensary is. And the consistency and the blendability of the concealer is so amazing so I was definitely sleeping on these things but I am wide awake and I see the light now. Next I have a setting spray from Scandinavia and this is the makeup primer spray. Now I've been using Scandinavia for like ever if you use any kind of Urban Decay setting sprays those are all from Scandinavia um, and this one is a oil control makeup primer spray. What? I know. I love to spray this on my face before I do my makeup. It's just like you're spraying vitamins into your skin and Scandinavia has never steered me wrong before so I just wanted to give this one a go and I have been absolutely loving this guy is a random one but I have been so into audible.com which is just a website that allows you to listen to books I got a email from a friend to receive a free audible download book which is you know so that you can listen to the book and Carly Bible has been telling me to read the untethered soul for like ever I'm like not even joking like every time I see her she'll be like have you read the untethered soul yet and I'm like no I promise I'm gonna read it and I finally since I had like that free book download I downloaded it and I love it I don't know something about like listening to a book is really cool to me because I can do tons of other things like I listen to it while I'm like doing my makeup or doing my hair and it, it's different than like listening to music it like gets you more in tune and like helps me to focus more so I've just been listening here's like a little this closes you off from all the energy when you close your heart or close your mind you hide in the darkness within you you do there is no light no nope. there is no energy no nope. there is nothing flowing no nope. The energy is still there, but it can't get in. That is what it means to be blocked. That's what it means. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm into the whole listening to the book situation. I can listen to it in the car. I also have downloaded The Fault in Our Stars, which for me, I always like to read the book before I watch the movie because it's like you can create your own kind of scenario in your head, which is what I like to do. Um, so yeah, I'm reading, I'm listening, I'm not reading, I'm listening to The Untethered Soul right now and then I have The Fault in Our Stars on backup. Um, but it's so, so, so cool. You can download, there's like thousands, hundreds of thousands of different books that you can choose from. And I actually got you guys your own free little downloadable book. If you guys want to try it out, you can download whatever book you want for free. I have a link in the bottom bar if you guys want to check it out. I just liked it so much when I got my little free book, I was like, huh? I'm like, I need to just share the book wealth. So the link is down there if you guys want to check it out. I finally read it, Carly. High five. You better internet high five me. And then last but not least is from one of my subscribers. Her name is Christina. I got this in my P.O. Box two days ago, I think. She sent me one of her illustrations, and I just think it is so cute. And she sent it all the way from Sweden. I just thought it was so cute and so thoughtful. So I can't wait to find a cute frame for it and hang it up in my beauty room. So thank you so much, Christina. I really appreciate it. And you guys send me lots of cool stuff, and I have it all collected and I can't wait to put it up and you send me such sweet letters and I hear I seriously have a binder that's like this big two of them that has all your letters in it to me and I just I love you guys so much so thank you for taking time to send me things and make me things and just write your kind words to me I appreciate it so much more than you'll ever know um, and I just wanted to share this one with you guys because I just thought it was so cute right right and yeah I think that's it I think that's all I gotta say that is it for my August favorites and we're moving right into September that's crazy that is so crazy <laughs> so I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you guys thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon bye it's just what is this Hey, the size of this tag is just unnecessary. It's just all up in here. Yeah. And then some other words that I can't pronounce. What? Next. I'm so out of breath, it feels like. Good girl. We're still filming. Hello. Eye maker, eye makeup. <laughs> okay.
throw stuff on the floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. And my camera froze on me. I'm the little kind of gangster. I am. It gets me. Hey girl, hey. No, mama, don't want to say hi. Put me down. <laughs>